questions? Action. Makes you wonder. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Pastor Markworth here again as we continue this week our reading through the book of Acts this summer. In this week's reading, it's several chapters long, we get to experience the third missionary journey of Paul and his friends as they travel uh, even further than ever before across the known world of the Roman Empire in those early days of the Christian church. I think one thing that's really significant about this section is how many churches Paul not only gets to go and help plant, but how many he gets to go back to. He visits them again. He wants to encourage his new friends in the faith and build them up and literally help them build together what would become congregations in the towns he had visited with his traveling companions. Paul had several missionary journeys, each of which did similar things, um, brought the gospel to people who had never heard it. He always seemed to have a pattern of uh, landing in a town, going to the synagogue, and finding that as kind of a home base, but almost always then branching out from there to visit with, to, to talk with, to stop uh, wherever it could happen and chat with people who were beyond. Uh, the Jewish faith, people who were considered Gentiles at the time. And to them, he brings the gospel of Jesus. Once again, it is, I think, really at the heart of what God is doing in this part of the story of the church, that he sends Paul and company out into the, the far corners of the world to bring the message of salvation to people who had never heard it. And there are still churches in many of those places, even today, a couple thousand years later. Church is God's project. It's always under his control. You know, there are times when it's really hard to remember that. When we think that somehow all that we're doing and that we have done, or maybe even our parents or others before us have done, is responsible for the, the message going forward. And in human terms, yes, that's true, but God and his spirit is always behind it. God preserves and keeps and grows his kingdom here on earth. What a wonderful thing. I hope as we keep reading through the book of Acts, you're getting that sense once again of God's spirit at work. He's at work in our lives too. We know he works through his word and in the sacraments to give faith, to bring faith, to bring us to life in the faith, and to keep us there, to keep growing us through our lives. This week, we've got several announcements that I want to make sure to share with you. Another reminder about August 21st. It's the installation day for our new principal, Ms. Susan Gassler. Now, while she's been a called worker here at Grace for some time, her, her role has been in the classroom. She's been teaching kindergarten for a number of years. But we are grateful that she has now answered the call to become the next principal. And in fact, she has been hard at work all through the summer uh, in that role already. So, August 21st at 10 a.m. in the Family Life Center, we celebrate as we officially install her as our principal. I want to make sure to mention this to you. If you haven't done so yet, please, would you please respond uh, to the RSVP notice that is coming to you in Amazing Grace. It should have come to you the other day. It'll come again this time. But um, we really would like to get a good handle on the number of people who are going to be present because we're expecting you, we're expecting church members, staff members, family members, all kinds of friends to gather around that day, and we want to make sure we're prepared by having enough food. So, RSVP as soon as you can. Also on the calendar, and actually this week, coming this Saturday, are two things. One is here in the Grace area, and the other is within our district. Uh, that event uh, for the district is the installation of our new district president, Pastor Bill Harmon, down in Williamsburg, Virginia. 
please keep that in your prayers. Keep him in your prayers as he begins this important ministry. And as the baton is passed from our current district president, Pastor John Denninger, to Pastor Harmon. We are blessed in the Southeastern District in so many ways, and this is one of them. Thanks for keeping them and all those who work in our district in your prayers. The other event is local, and that is uh, another Groove Pool Party. So you should have gotten an invitation. We really hope you can make it Saturday, and I don't know the time right off the top of my head, so I'm gonna ask Amanda. Noon to four. Noon to four. Noon to four at the home of the Judaes. If you need any directions or any kind of help, don't hesitate to reach out and ask for that.